Okay, so if you want to put an external fuel tank in your fuel buggy or your demo car, then you're going to have to drop the original tank out of the car if it's fuel inject and it has an electric pump. Now, if it's an older vehicle and it has a mechanical fuel pump, then you don't have to do this. Or if it has an inline fuel pump. So I call the external fuel tank the boat tank because I have a whole bunch of these boat tanks around and these are what I use in the field car. This one has been modified to work with a carbureted car that has a return line. What I've done is I've just threaded another fitting into this tank so that I have a return line. So this one's the suction line and then this one's a return and this would be my vent tube here. You can use a tank like this in a carbureted car with a return line. Another vehicle that uses just a single fuel inlet is like this 1970 dump truck over here. It only has one line in. So there's a lot of different ways these sending units are held in. Some are actually screwed down and some of them are then locked in with a little piece of metal that locks it in. So this one here it, it's just locked in with actually it's just, it's just like removing a little um, clip. But they're not all the same. Some of them lock in, they lock and turn. You can just pop this sending unit out. This fuel sending unit here is quite large to fit inside of a plastic boat tank. Now it does push down and it comes to this type of sending unit. You may have to remove the pump from inside of the housing here. Cut these lines and actually make it shorter, fortunately. Not all of these are as easy as the fireflies.